All right. So recently, I was watching It's a Wonderful Life on Christmas Eve, and I was watching it and everything. And I watched, you know, the first portion where he's alive and everything, and he goes to Martinis, and he drinks, and Martinis sticks up for him, and he mentions something about having to tell off Zuzu's teacher, and then that man punches him. All right, and he has there's a bartender there called Nick, named Nick, right? So then Martini owns the bar, it's called Martini's, and he employed Nick. Alright, so then he wishes not to exist. Clarence grants him this wish and makes the world as it was if he'd never existed, right? So then he goes back to the bar, but now it's named Nick's Bar. And Martini's nowhere to be seen uh, in the movie and stuff. And I, I just can't, I can't remember though what, what George Bailey did to help Martini be able to open a bar and what what how come in a world without George Bailey Nick is able to succeed in life and have his own bar I, I never I never rap I, I I just saw it and I just it, you know it's not Martini's not the same guy as Mr. Gower who in uh, a world without George Bailey poisoned that little child no, he's some other person named Martini, who I don't remember George Bailey saving or helping or whatever. I have no clue. Although in my world, you know, in my little fantasy brain here, I think, what if Mr. Potter, Potter uh, gets together with Nick and makes a time machine and sends him back into the future to make sure he kills George Bailey so Nick could be the bar owner instead of just the tender in the future and, and then at that point I know I've watched too much Fox